Day one of discussing whatever ChatGPT tells me to you related to pediatric feeding and swallowing. Thickened liquids are not a fix all for everything pediatric dysphagia. While thickening a liquid does help slow the flow, and for some kids that can be super, super helpful, it doesn't fix the underlying physiology that's impacting swallow safety. Additionally, the evidence related to thickening liquids is very insufficient when we look at pediatric populations. Think of thickening liquids as a compensatory strategy rather than a habilitative or rehabilitative strategy. It can be helpful for some kids. If this is something that improves the safety of swallow when looking at an instrumental assessment, then by all means use it. However, we have to make sure that as soon as a recommendation like that is made, we're considering the underlying physiology and then implementing strategies and a treatment plan to get the child to a point where we can start to wean that thickener away. We don't have to use it forever. Additionally, if another type of strategy used on an instrumental is seen as beneficial in improving swallow safety, then we should consider are using that as well. With each case, it should be a risk to benefit analysis and we should be thinking about overall safety. So yes, sometimes thickeners might be used, but it always should be thought about as something compensatory that we're looking to wean away from as soon as possible.